Hey, what's up, guys? It is DJ. Today's a little different because there's only two mods to take a look at. We got a new truck for all platforms, and then we've got an update to a tank for PC Mac players. So let's jump right in. The only new mod today for all platforms is going to be the MEN TGS 18 pack. We've got a lot of customization options on this, and there is a second version here as well, the TGS Kipper. So We'll take a look at that. First up, we have the regular truck, 500 horsepower with an automatic transmission, 400 liters of fuel, 49 miles an hour, and weighs 9.6 tons. Wheel setups, we have a standard set, we have a standard with steering wheel, forest, forest with steering wheel, and back to standard. Mounting plate, we have with or without. Warning stripes, we have none, we have with, oh, well, back to none again. Company logo, we have no company logo. We've got a couple fire department or nothing. Now, the fire department is pretty cool. We'll take a look at that here in a second. Rotating beacon, we have with or without. Now, if you go with the fire department, you get blue beacons. But if you go with none, you only get orange beacons. So, uh, maybe something to, to check out. I don't know. Front strobe, we have with or without. We also have rotating beacon bracket. So, the bracket that holds it, so that is a little bit different. And then we have position lights. With or without, there's going to be the uh, chicken lights on the sides. Then we have color options. So, we have a full set of custom colors plus every color under the rainbow. We have a race red, metallic gray, dynamic blue, which is beautiful, plus magnetic metallic, magnetic gray, orange, and white because of course we also have rim colors as well we have our four standard colors plus a lot of different and then a bunch more from there and then that is it for the semi as for the kipper same setup here and the only difference is going to be capacity we have capacity for 9400 liters or 17,000 liters and that is the only difference between the two trucks with face cam back let's jump in and take a look at these they're a little bit different especially depending on what you go with so Let's say we go for the fire truck setup. With this one, we've got beacons, blue ones, all over the place, which is super cool. We also have a siren, which we will promptly turn off because that is very annoying. Then if we just go with the standard setup here, we get amber beacons on here, which is very, very cool. Of course, lighting is going to be the same. There's only one setup for lighting on both of these, which uh, I, don't, I don't know. Usually you've got like brights and dims and stuff like that. Not today. Not today. We also have a tip sides for back, left, and right on the tipper. So if you need that, you've got that. And it also has passenger seating, which I was not expecting. So there you go. I've got the Kubota seating thing so I can pick what seat I choose. Uh, big shout out to Clutch for making me download that last week. Uh, nonetheless, that's kind of it for these two trucks. There's really nothing else going on there. There is one thing, though. This says it's got an automatic transmission. However, when we jump out at the bottom right hand corner look at that there's gears there's, there's 10 of them so uh, is that automatic <laughs> what's the world coming to and as mentioned we have an update for pc players as well the unimog build up tanks version 1.3 diesel tank bug fixed when filling vehicles chemical tank error fixed filling from the liquid silo new folders a tractor? I don't know. Uh, tanks have to be purchased new, and a manure system from Lobster's been installed. And that is it. Nice, short, sweet, and to the point. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. If it did, drop a like. Get subscribed if you do enjoy the Go Ham Fam. Make sure that notification bell is on as well. That way, you never miss any farming simulator videos right here. Otherwise, just have an awesome day. We'll see you later.